Hello everyone and welcome to 2023 and welcome to another year of freebies. So this year I decided what I'm going to do is this year's freebies are going to be called Home Sweet Home. And what we're going to make is a ring bound journal with a page and pockets etc for each of the months so for january of course we've got the house and it's kind of like a stucco so every month will be like a a different um pattern on the house i guess with kind of a monthly holiday theme like for january of course we've got happy new year so there's some happy new year stuff and there'll be holidays that are pretty consistent all around the world but there's a few months that don't have one so I will just make something but anyways so there's our house shape we've got some odds and ends of goodies to cut out and use we've got the other side of the house we've got a couple pieces of roof now you can put the roofs on you don't have to it's all up to you We've got January, we've got Happy New Year. Then we've got this huge, huge tag. I'll show you what we're going to do there. A few other in embellishments to cut out. And these, I don't know how well you can see those on the video. But that's snow for the roof. And you can put the snow on, you can leave it off. I wanted to give you some um variants on what you could do or not do to it and then we also have another huge tag and then a little 2023 little embellishment and a few other goodies now i've cut mine out already and i've inked them now i've got two big rings for this and they are how big are these? These are about two and a quarter inches. Um, I hope they're going to be big enough for all 12 months. If not, I'll just get some bigger ones. I've got some whole reinforcers. Now these I used a die cut to cut out. And I already had them done. That's why I'm, I'm using them. And that's just to reinforce the holes. I made a little template for mine. Now, I didn't put holes in the roofs because you might only want to put one. You might want to put your hole up here and therefore you could just cut this little bit off. Or you maybe you want to use three, but I'm going to use two. So I made my template to that and I just measured it out and I put these evenly and they're done. Now I've got all the goodies cut out and you'll see what I what I plan on doing with all the different things a bunch more of the stuff there so lots of things to play with use in other journals etc now let's just move all this off to the side cut my houses and we've got them and now i haven't done one of these yet so it's going to be a little bit of thinking for me as well now each one of these is going to have a pocket here so e every page will have maybe pockets on the outside maybe not but all of them i'm going to leave a pocket in there and make something or in there. Now I think the first thing, let's glue this down. Now I want to glue using art glitter glue. Of course I want to leave this side open so I'm going to glue down here. I'm going to glue 
all of this little extra spot. I want this part to be kind of strong. And now we're going to glue this. And then we'll glue across here and glue this point as well. Let's put these together and of course these the right sides out. Let's do our best to give it as even as we can. We don't want to trim too much of this off because we want them to be fairly the same size when we're done. Okay, let's just glue that down. Now it is a little off here. I think what I'm going to do is just ink that up a bit. And then I don't think I'm going to see it as much. There we go. Double check this side. Yeah, I didn't quite get it even, but that's okay. That's going to be good. We've got that. So we're going to have our opening here. Now you could put thumb holes in there if you wanted, etc. Let's punch our holes. I need my hole punch. I'm just going to use just your normal everyday cheap hole punch. And I'm going to line that up the best I can. And then I'm just going to punch. Let's see. There we go. Just like that. Now I don't need to ink those because these are going to go on top. Now these actually are a tiny little bit bigger than the other. Now do I want to put four and put two on the back and two on the front? Or do I only need two? Let's just put two on the back and then I can add the other two later if I want. I want these holes to be really strong. Just because of the fact you're going to be opening and closing these. Now this, the the die cut that I used, it was from a Sizzix set with tags on it. And I actually cut these out of old greeting cards. Turn this this way. There we go. Now I am going to put the roofs on mine. And they're just going to go on. Do the best to line them up. Maybe this one goes on this side. I don't know if it makes a difference. Okay. Let's glue this down. Now you could even just glue here and here and tuck something in there. But that's not what I'm going to do. There's plenty of possibilities to make this your own. And change the things around or use my pieces just as a template and trace them out of other paper that, paper that you really like. You can do all kinds of things. Try to get this as even as possible. Is that looking like a house? I hope so. Let's put the other one on this side. Same thing. Of 
glue up all these little bits. So this is the fourth year I've been doing a monthly freebie. So check on all the back videos and whatnot and find the videos for the other freebies. Join the Facebook group. I always put them on there and um, all of 2022's freebie are on the coffee site. And eventually, I hope to get all the other past ones on there. So there is our roof. Now, oh, I guess I did do four of those. Okay. Somewhere there's another one, I hope. But I will, oh, there's the other one right there. So I'll glue those on after. Now, my plan, I wanted to put the snow on. They're going to be a little tricky to, to glue on because they are little. But I thought, well, not everybody has snow at Christmas or for New Year's. So that's why I wanted to make the snow optional. Just going to put a little bit of glue right along the roof edge. And then I'm going to pop my snow down. Just like that. And then this one, I'm not sure if I can. Let's put this one down this away. Now the same thing, just tiny little bit of glue up there. I don't want too much because I don't want it oozing all out everywhere. And plop that down there. Now we have a little snow covered house. Let's put these this side as well. And let's just, okay, let's put a little thing right on here. And then right along there like that. Now you'll be able to see the back of the snow, but that's okay. I'll put a little bit of ink on that. So every house will look totally different when we're done. I just thought this made kind of a cute idea for this. Let's put the last snow on there. There we go. Oh, I think that looks really cute. Let's just put a little bit of ink along that that's sticking out. That looks really good. Okay, so I'm going to put these little rings on the front as well. Um, being that I inked them out. Obviously, I was going to put them on there. Get them nice and centered. And this one. And then at some point, I'll do a cover for this. And a front and a back. Um, they'll be the same size and I'm not quite sure what to do yet or I should say I think I'm going to okay looking like a house now I'm going to thinking about putting these on 
Just a few layered pieces. Not exactly sure what I want on here. Just, my plan is just a little bit of decoupage, or not decoupage, just finding some old vintage paper. Here is some here. Let's put this in half. Some kind of dictionary, um, Bible type things. Yeah. Something a little thicker than that. How about some music ones? Okay. I've got a drawer beside my desk that I have all kinds of. Uh, old vintage papers in from different kinds of books. Let's just rip that up there. Um, just want something to put behind here just Like that. I was just going to place some of this around just for a little bit of decoration. Um, wondering if I could make that into a pocket. all that over just thinking something like that so let's start by inking this up and then we'll go from there as I say every house will have a pocket in it and maybe pockets on the outside, flips, who knows. Haven't decided that much that far ahead yet. I pretty much just do them one month at a time. But I figure a home sweet home theme, we could come up with 12 different ones to do. And as I say, you feel free to just use them as a template and then use your own papers, scrap up papers. Maybe you have some digital papers that you really like. There is that. This way you can use up some of your scraps of odds and ends and stuff. Um, let's put this down first. I kind of want it tucked a little bit underneath that clock. I figured New Year's was all about the time being that, you know, happens at midnight. And the way that we're making this, we can, it's easier to put the months and stuff on because you can arrange these however you want month-wise and whatnot. Let's put this down. So I hope you follow along all year with this. And I would love to see what you make. Because I better put the Weld straight up in the air. There we go. And I'm thinking that I want something underneath. 
I've got just a, a container of odds and ends of stuff over here. Uh, let's just try a piece of something like this. I want to cut that little seam off there. And there. Just thinking something a little... Trim that off some there. Put some glue there to hold down the lace. And now let's glue up this flower really good. Because it's going to have to go through that lace to catch the paper on the back to hold it really good. I'm hoping that we can incorporate some of our stash into this home sweet home. And let's just put that kind of right there. Make sure we get the edges down. Sometimes I have to come along after. And just put a little bit of glue where the lace is, just to hold down the edge a little more. Because sometimes it's hard for that glue to get through the lace to the bottom. And there we go. That should do it right there. Make sure we get that pressed down. So there is our one side. Now on the back side I'm planning on putting this little guy. And I was going to put January And put the bow underneath it. I did this one blue because I thought, well, blue is kind of um, like a wintry color. And I got lots of flowers as well. Um, and yeah, I think he can go. Right over here. And I'm thinking, what if we made him a little pocket, a little tuck spot of some kind? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to glue up here and around and then the boy. I want to glue the stool all down because I don't want the legs to break off of it. And then we'll just go up and up to about the top. And let's glue him down. Right like so. Well, that will be a nice little tuck spot. And these are just going to go here. Never know where to put them. That, oops, bumped the camera with my glasses. I'm going to make that into a little pocket as well. I kind of think that looks kind of cute. Let's glue here and here and 
end there. Now, of course, you don't have to put stuff in these pockets. You don't have to make them pockets. And that's going to go right there. And then we could just use a little tuck spot there. And these could also go here. You wouldn't see the date unless you took the things off, but that's okay. Screw up this bow. Put that right under the January. Okay. I'm liking this. Now, before we do any more, let's bring in these huge, huge tags. Now, well, this is the tag that I'm going to use. Now, it's kind of split into three sections in, in a way when I made these. So, I want to just fold this over. And actually, let's hold on. I'm going to put my pin in my glue. And I'm going to get my scoring thing. I don't want the paper to break, so I'm going to try scoring it instead. So that's, that's going to be about three inches there. And one, two, three. Let's do three. Three, one, two, three, four, seven and a half. So three and a half. Let's do th three and three quarters, but that's going to go into this pocket that's in there. So we can do it at least four to four and a half inches. But we need to consider this design. So if I do that three and that three, one, two, three, that'll work out good. Let's do this three here. And then that'll give us a four inch um, booklet type. that and that I used to have a scoreboard and I got rid of it because I never used it I always just used my ruler and let's just get rid of my couple little lines there we go now I can fold on this Do our best to get it even. There's that. Let's fold this in. There is that. So that kind of leaves like a little booklet type idea. And Closure of some kind. Not quite sure what I want to do to close it. I don't want to put something there because that's going to wreck that picture. I'm not sure. We could just tuck it right in just like this here. That fits in there perfect that way.
and it fits in good that away as well. So we could put it in there either way. I do want to ink up this edge and this edge. Now you could use these within your journal as well. Just put it down on a page and have it open up. Thinking I want something here. Um, just because I think it will look nice with something sticking out the edge. Let's try a chunk of this. Um, just got to get a punch. Okay, just a quick little recap as I noticed that my video had turned off and I wasn't sure how far along we were getting. So just to make sure. So here's a little recap of our 20... 23 home sweet home January we've got the big rings the rings seem a bit big but once we get a few more months on there so we've got that you can journal all over all around and then here's the back you can journal on the backs of these cards you can journal on those little tags or use them somewhere else and then inside we can just tug on these and we've got this big huge tag shape thing and I've just put the little bits and pieces in there for now I'm going to make a little envelope or something for that let's just tie that up just ties in a little tiny knot and that's going to slide back into there And that gives a nice little handle to pull that tag out. It's good if it can come out just enough so that knot is on the outside. But I think that turned out really, really cute. Um, head on over to Facebook or to Coffee, K-O-F-I, to get the freebie. And we'll see you soon in another video. Bye.